Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the last problem of today's weekly contest, minimum time to visit a cell in a grid. The problem states that you are given a grid of m cross n, which contain non-negative integers. Now the value at each cell, row comma column, denotes the minimum time required to be able to visit that cell row comma column. So for example, if the value here is let's say 3, it means that you can't visit this cell row comma column at time t less than less than 3, right? Now you are standing in the top left of the matrix at the 0th second and you can move in any of the four directions. Now each movement takes one direction and you need to return the minimum time required to visit the bottom right of the matrix, right? So you are at the top left, you can move to any directions top down right left and you have to reach at the bottom right in minimum time right so let's take this example in this example we are at this cell at 0 comma 0 at 0 th at t equals to 0 now at t equals to 1 we can take this move now why we are able to take this move because we we are visiting this cell at t equals to 1 hence we are visiting this cell at time greater than equals to 1 so which means this movement is allowed. So at t equals to 1, we can we can move this, uh, we can take this movement and reach this uh, 0, 1. Notice that at t equals to 1, we can't take this movement because it says 5, which means we can visit this cell only at t greater than equals to 5. So at t equals to 1, this we, we reach here. Now at t equals to 2, we can't take this movement because the value here is 3. So at t equals to 2, we come here now t equals to 3 we can take this movement or this movement right so let's say we take this movement and reach here t equals to 3 now t equals to 4 we can't take this movement because the value here is 5 so we can uh, reach here at any time greater than equals to 5 so at t equals to 4 we go backwards and at t equals to 5 we come forward now at t equals to 6 finally we will be able to take this move because we are visiting this cell at greater than time greater than 5 now finally at t equals to 7, you will be reaching at this cell, which is the bottom right cell, the destination cell. As we are able to reach this cell as t equals to 7, and that is the minimum possible time, the answer here is 7, right? Now how to solve this? We have already discussed a lot of time in the, in the past that given a grid, if you are allowed to move in all the four directions, it means you are given a graph. And you have to solve this problem with uh, some graph algorithm. Now, in this particular problem, we have to reach from top left to bottom right, which means we have to find the shortest path between two cells. And for that, there are various algorithms. We can use Dijkstra here, right? Okay, we assume that we are using Dijkstra. Now, what exactly are the nodes? Nodes will be each of these cells, right? And what are the edges? Edges would be the adjacent directions, right? Now each edge, each edge here is of weight one because it is given that you require one unit of time. Now only thing that is different than normal dijkstra here is the edges are timed. What do I mean by that? It means that let's say you reach at this cell at t equals to two then you can't take this movement because this you can take only when you will be visiting this cell at t greater than equals to 5. So you can take you can't take this movement at t equals to 2. Right? So this edge doesn't exist at t equals to 2. But if you reach this cell at t equals to 5, then this edge will suddenly appear because at t equals to 5 this is allowed. Right? So that's the only difference than normal dextra here. So let's see how we can accommodate that while applying Dijkstra. We will still apply Dijkstra, but just with a small twist that would uh, take care of the uh, given time constraint in the problem, right? So at t, t equals to zero, we are at zero comma zero. So there is only, uh, like the, this is the smallest node, zero comma zero is the smallest node and it is the, in the top of the queue. So there are other nodes as well. I haven't shown this uh, for uh, clarity, but we currently have this 0 comma 0 uh, this this node of 0 comma 0 at t equals to 0 which is the smallest time 
now we pop this node right so we remove this node uh, from the queue and uh, we will try to visit it neighbors right so we we are trying to visit this neighbors so there are two neighbors right one is this and another one is this now both the neighbors are active why because we are trying to visit them at t equals to 1 which is allowed right so both these neighbors are active so you will be getting this node at t equals to 1 and similarly you will be getting this node at t equals to 1 so basically we are at 0 comma 1 at t equals to 1 and we are at 1 comma 0 at t equals to 1 so both are there right now uh, let's pop this node first 0 comma 1 right so this is the top of the queue so let's just pop it and now we will be trying to uh, visit this node so we are currently at this right so from this again you have you have these three edges right now you can't go you will not go back because that's where you will be you have come from so let's say you take this edge it means you will be coming at 0 comma 0 at t equals to 2 right but you already know that you can reach 0 comma 0 at t equals to 0 so it is not optimal so you will not you will ignore this right now the next stage is uh, the right one let's say 0 comma 2 so this edge doesn't exist at t equals to 1 right because what does it it means that you are trying to visit this cell at t equals to 2 which is not possible so this edge doesn't exist at t equals to 1 this edge will exist when time would be 2 right so basically you have to wait here for one second but we are not allowed to wait we are not allowed to wait uh, at any node for any time o only time like only time will pass only when you take some move uh, take some steps right so we are at t equals to 1 at this node but we know that we have to spend until t equals to 2 to make this edge active so the simple trick that we can do is we can just go to our parent or whatever nodes we are coming from so we will just uh, go there and then come back so we'll just oscillate back and forth uh, between this until we like pass the time which we want so we want to pass until t equals to 2 so we want to pass one second right but this oscillation back and forth would take at least two seconds right so that's where we will be spending two unit of time oscillating here right so finally after making one oscillation we will be at this node at t equals to 3 right and at that time this edge will be active this edge will be active and we will be coming at this node at t equals to 4 right so hope this makes sense so what we have done is we have just uh, find out the time we need to wait and we have waited that time by just doing an oscillation now the special case is if the time we need to wait is event then we can just spend exactly that unit of time but if the time is odd we can't spend odd unit of time in oscillation we have to spend even unit of time so that's where we will spend one more second in oscillation so that's where we have to wait until t equals to 2 but we have waited until t equals to 3 because of this uh, constraint now finally we introduced uh, let's just put 4 here so we introduced 0 comma 2 at 4 right so I just kept this uh, field open for one more uh, edge that I know will come so now we have uh, taken care of this edge as well so now what's the next this, this one is the next edge so this is already allowed right we, need, we don't need to wait here to make it make it visible so this edge is already available and we can come here at t equals to 2 directly right so what we have just discovered we have just discovered that at t equals to 2 we can reach 1 comma 1 right now we have completely visited this node so now we will just pop another node so this is the top node in our list so they just pop it out right and uh, we are at uh, this node at t equals to 1 so again let's just try to figure out the ed uh, the edges so these are the three edges right 
again with the same same logic will not go up because going up would mean that we are reaching here t equals to 2 but we already know that we can reach here at t equals to 0 so this is not optimal so will not go up uh, we will not go right as well like right we know that we can reach here t equals to 2 which is already there so will not go there right so the only thing that now remains is go down right so this edge again it is not available at t equals to 1 it will be available at t equals to 3 because we know that we can we have to be at at least 4 unit of time uh, past till we reach 2 comma 0 so we we have to wait until t equals to 3 so we are at t equals to 1 have to wait t equals to 3 so we need to wait for 2 seconds now here we can exactly wait for 2 seconds by just move, doing a 1 oscillation so we at t equals to 3 we can assume that sorry at t equals to 3 we can assume that we are at this node and we can make this switch at t equals to 4 right so what we have just discovered we have discovered that we can reach 0 comma 2 uh, sorry 2 comma 0 at t equals to 4 right so hope this makes sense now now we will pop out another node the next node is 1 comma 1 so we will just pop out pop this node out so this is the exact same way we will be applying this dijkstra until we reach the last node so just to make things bit more clear let's just apply this algorithm one more time so we are at 1 comma 1 at time t equals to 2 right so 1 comma 1 is this node right so we have again four edges right so which of these edge will not will not take care will will not take care of the left one because we know that if we go to left one we will be reaching here at t equals to 3 but we know that we already can reach here at t equals to 1 so this is not optimal so we will not go to the left one what about the top one again top one you will be going to this node at t equals to 3 but we know that you can reach this node at t equals to 1 itself so this is not optimal again we will not go top as well now what about the right one the right one says that you can reach this node at t equals to 2 like this edge will be active so basically this 2 comma 1 sorry 1 comma 2 will be active at this particular time and hence you will be able to reach this cell at t equals to 3 so basically what we have discovered is we have discovered that at t equals to 3 we are able to reach 1 comma 2 right now finally the last cell which is the down one again uh, this is available because we are at t equals to 2 so this is allowed so again we at t equals to 3 we would be able to reach 2 comma 1 as well and we will just insert it in this position right so hope the entire algorithm makes sense the only thing that change in normal dijkstra is the waiting time because we know that we have to wait we are just oscillating back and forth right now one last thing that you need to take care of the problem is it says that you need to return minus 1 if it is not possible so when entire thing is not possible only when let's say this is 2 and this is 2 so basically you can't make even the first move after you make first move you know that you can oscillate right but if you don't have the liberty to uh, oscillate itself you can't do anything so if these two nodes itself are greater than 1 it means you can't even take the first step which in turn means you can't spend any time at all like you are at t equals to 0 and you will be stuck at t equals to 0 forever and hence the answer will be minus 1 so that's the only case where the answer will be minus 1 otherwise you know you have one step and you can oscillate as many times as you want in that particular step and reach every cell that you want right so let's look at the code again I uh, strongly encourage you to code it yourself first uh, before looking at my code uh, so that you can able to grasp this concept a lot better so the code is simple uh, we just fill initially every cell with 10 to the power 9 the maximum possible time that we can reach to that node and 0 comma 0 we fill it with 0 because we know that we are t equals to 0 we are at 0 comma 0 now we put every every node in a cell uh, in, in a set so again you can use priority queue here as well i am using set because uh, that's what i found intuitive with so you put you put priority queue here and uh, you will insert every node 
with its time to reach right now you will pop one by one so because it is a sorted set or a sorted priority queue you will be popping out the smallest one first so we pop out the smallest one and we erase that from the set now we visit all its neighbor so neighbors is nothing but the four uh, directions top down left right and uh, once we check that neighbors like neighbor is valid we calculate the wait time right now after calculating the wait time we check if wait time modulus 2 is not zero basically it is not even if it is not even we have to oscillate one more time like we need one more unit of wait time because we are oscillating and oscillating requires even unit of time so that's where we just uh, increment our wait time if it is not uh, even after that we know that what is the new time that we require so we we reached this node at this unit of time we are waiting for this much time and we will be requiring one unit of time to reach here so this plus wait time plus this is the final uh, final time so basically this max you can remove as well uh, this one is not required actually so this is the final time that new time that will be required and if this time to reach if originally known time is greater than the new time then you found a better path right this is normal dextra you found a better path you just erase the previous path and insert the new path right so after you uh, do the entire iterations you will be every cell or time to reach matrix will contain the minimum time to reach the cell i comma j now we will just check the value of uh, rows minus one and column minus one and we'll just return so notice that i am not checking minus one condition here because i have checked that in the very top because we know only way we can be getting minus one if we can't even take the first move if we are able to take the first move it's fine we are free completely so hope this entire solution makes sense if you have any doubts in the problem please post them in the conversation below i would have to answer if you like the video give it a thumbs up and do subscribe if you're not already i will see you in the next one thank you